Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Red Dog Gaming, where today I'm bringing you a Teutonic Order into Prussia campaign directly from my Twitch channel. Now, in terms of this campaign, it has it all from great religious strife, to great wars, to famine, to almost ruin at one point. So, do stay tuned for all of the juicy action. Now, in terms of this first episode, we had a little bit of an issue with Twitch and uh, the internet. So there is a tiny bit cut out, but it's only a small amount of the video. So please do stay tuned and you will definitely be getting a lot of action. So this whole first video is just setting up the country and we'll be going into a war at the very end. Thank you very much. And as always, enjoy the video. There we are. Perfect. <laughs> so let's have a look at our starting situation we have Denmark Lithuania and Poland have rivaled us that's okay let's see what the situation is here they the rival Bohemia Do -do -do -do. domestic options economy and so oh, they would accept a royal marriage but we can't do that which is unfortunate Pretty annoying. So, okay, so we'll take that mission to start with. So, the thing that I actually noticed is with the expanded missions, the vanilla missions might actually be better for us. So, we might want to take that into account for when we when we go into uh, Prussia. So, in terms of our ideas. Oh, got cavalry combat ability, not really that useful right now because I don't want to be running too many cavalry because they're too expensive. Um, but we got infantry costs and cavalry costs, so, so if we switch to Protestant, I think that becomes church power and missionary strength. Fort defense, missionaries, and tolerance of the true faith. So all in all, actually pretty good ideas. Not as good as Prussia's, but pretty, pretty good. And in order to form Prussia, we need Admin Tech 10 and we must be Reformed or Protestant. So we're definitely going to be trying to go that straight away uh, as soon as it fires. In terms of alliances, who would like an alliance? Bohemia? That's quite good. Definitely not Livonian Order. We're going to be fighting them. I think we'll take, I think we'll go for Bohemia straight away. And we're going to try. Uh, they are allied with. May have just screwed that up, but we're going to try for Austria as well. I, I, I don't think it will happen. And then the other one we're going to go for is Muscovy to start with, in case of Poland. So we're going to be fighting them. Let's get going. Uh, air needed. Who can we afford to lose? We've got 99 devotion, so it doesn't really matter right now. The clergy estate loses 15 loyalty. Uh, the nobility gain. We can afford to lose that loyalty with the clergy, so. Do that. Oh, God. Oh, no. You're awful. Awful. Can we kill them? Oh, we can't even disinherit them because we're not a monarchy. Terrible. <laughs> Uh, do we want to update? I think the missions are already updated, so... I mean, these missions are really good, so we want to do as many of them as possible. Um, empowered requirements. Okay, we're not going to do that, because that's part of the mod. So let's have a look at some of our missions we've got here. Um, we've got the Holy Guard. So number of generals at least one. Total army size of 100%. So we want to do that as soon as possible. And then we get Livonia, Curonia, and Estonia. What is our... We need four more troops and we need a general. I think we'll take the hit to get a general. Nine. Oh, two, two, one. Not too bad. Not too bad. That's all right. Um, and then we're going to get four more infantry. How many cavalry do we have? We've got three. Uh, move that up a bit. I'm... Cavalry is expensive, but I think it's going to be worth it to not spend that extra money to retrain infantry rather than cavalry. Okay, you guys can be protecting trade in the Baltic Sea. Where are our merchants? 
Krakow and Novigrad. I, I think that's all right. We'll um, we'll leave them there. If we can take Riga, that would be nice for our Baltic Sea trade nodes. Um, and we can, yeah, we can have a look. So rivals, we want Denmark. Uh, yeah, Denmark aren't even that much stronger than us. It's just the fact that they've got Norway and Sweden under them, which is pretty scary. I mean, Lithuania won't become, will probably cancel as a rival soon, so then we can change it to Brandenburg. Uh, we do have a low crown land. I don't want to make them all alone. that. I think we'll just... What are the modifiers by that? National tax, ma well, absolutism doesn't matter at the minute. And we don't have any subjects, so it doesn't matter. I think we'll just fill that by conquering. Um, rather than actually take some off now. So, let's have a look at the religions. Fine, stability, we've got one. Governing capacity, which... I really don't like as a as a mechanic is <laughs> is fine. Um, ideas are good. Now we've got to decide whether we want to kind of buy Renaissance by developing. I, I don't think we do. I don't think we're going to have a, a deluge of uh, of monarch power. So I don't think we do, especially a two one two, and then a two zero one. All I can really hope for with that is that this guy lives really long and this guy becomes, say, uh, the Hockmeister for a year or so. <laughs> um, and then hopefully we get a good one. National tax, that would be quite good. I could get the Diplo rep, would be nice to try and get an alliance. Also, Let's have a look. My relationship with Austria needs to be 149. I think we're going to go for that because of the aggressive expansion penalty and the demand unlawful territory and all that sort of stuff. If we can become friendly with the Emperor, they won't do that. So I think we're going to try and go for that. We're probably not going to be able to do it. Probably going to be able to get to 125. But if we need to do anything else, we can, you know fiddle around with giving them some giving them some uh So we had a bit of an internet breakdown before, so now it should be working again, hopefully. Um, but let's continue playing as the Teutonic Order. We took all of the Livonian Order and it's time to maybe... We've got... Uh, if we jump on Novigrad when they're fighting Muscovy, we can even take some land and maybe re-release them i'm not too sure if we, if we wait for the end of muscovy we can force vassalize them which would be very nice we're kind of just waiting for these rebellions 2.6 years yeah both about the same so yeah so hopefully everything's working again welcome to the stream guys um those underhanded mazovia is claiming that's fine Poland's probably going to go to war with us soon. I just hope our alliance with Bohemia and Muscovy holds up. So, potentially, how much have we improved relations? Oh, we, we're pretty full. I would like that to be up to like 200 maybe, just to try and keep them happy and to make sure they don't, they don't uh, snake us when, uh, when Poland attacks. I'm not too worried about Brandenburg. They do have a few allies, including our own Brunswick. So if they attack us, I'm hoping Brunswick doesn't join their side, but we'll see. Get the speed up. We'll uh, play for a little bit. We, uh, I think at this point, we're probably just waiting for Muscovy to attack Novigrod, holding back our uh, aggressive expansion for too long. Let's have a look. The Never Expedition. So we need to... Does that include non-tributary subjects? Good. 
And then we get a permanent claim on Novogrob and Pskov, which would be nice. But that means if we do that too early, we will have to turn on Muscovy very early, and they are quite strong. What's our force limit? Still 16. We don't want to go over that. It's fine going over your naval force limit, but your uh, your force limit for uh, army just is really punishing if you go over it, unless you're making a lot of money, which we are not right now. We want to kind of get this back up to 15k or so. Truce with Poland's ended, so... Hmm. I was going to say we should probably turn on these two forts, but we're not making any money. Could stop the drilling. Um, yeah, we could stop the drilling, but... I mean, we don't really need to build supply depots. It doesn't really matter. Is it still buffering? That's... It's not saying it is. One sec. Renaissance. Ooh, let's see where that spawned. Classic in Venice. Do we have it anywhere? Okay. Danzig seems to be getting it. Point one. Oh, yeah, like nothing. Um, so we kind of want to take this fourth tech as soon as possible. Do we want to milk these guys? I don't think we do because we need this crown land. You also, we need to do this because if you don't do it, it's really bad. I'm pretty sure it's part of the, I don't think this is part of the base game. I think this is part of the expansion. So um, missions expanded or something. So we need to do that because if we don't do it, I had a test run as the Teutons and if we don't do it, we can't do this. And it eventually does fire at some point. We could just risk seizing the land off them all. Like, makes their loyalty low, but we can't really afford to do that right now, though. At 48. Oh, 20. It removes 20, so we really can't afford to do it. We just need to... As soon as these cores are done, I think we might be there. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll see. Poland... Yeah, they hate us. So does Lithuania. Austria is not too bad with us. What do we need? 178, though. We need 178 relations. Kind of crazy. Goldingen. That's the capital. So, like that. That plus 10 shouldn't matter, should it? I know, Marienburg is the capital. Where's Goldingen? It's up here, yeah. Oh, they're going to revolt anyway, so we might as well make it a bit quicker. 1.9 years, 1.7 years. Getting our nobility gain influence, that's fine. Got a whole 0 0.3 coming in. Huge money, huge money. <laughs> and um, let's have a look at that trip. Oh, too few rivals. Lithuania is still a rival. Uh, who just got cancelled as a rival then? Poland? What, why would you get cancelled? Are they too big for me? Apparently. Do we take Brandenburg then? Who are you allied with that? I mean, you're allied with Brunswick. I mean, we need to take Berlin to form Prussia anyway. So I think setting off on that would be fine. We can't afford anyone else here at the minute. And we will 100% take that. We need to stay on top of the military. And we are not generating anything at the minute, really. Trade dispute against Sweden. That's fine. Yeah, we'll recall you. We've got Bohemia up. 
do we want to get Moscovy up? That's okay. I think potentially we've got the permanent claims here. What other missions give us permanent claims? Restoring Livonia. If we get Riga, that's not. We need to do this really. Yeah, these. I mean, these aren't that good. Well, they're pretty good, but <laughs> upgrading the. Uh, I mean, we've already got a permanent claim on Riga, so that doesn't matter. Ooh, this one you've got to destroy Sweden or make well you can make Sweden a rival which we will do at some point to be fair um, that's the other mission that we kind of want to do expansion of Danzig we need 150 which I think we're quite far off this Greater Poland Road to Warsaw I mean this gives us the claims that we need so the death of Poland that's not too good. Into Germany. Austria's opinion of us is 125. And then we get those. I mean, that would be pretty amazing. Oh, if we didn't have that alliance with Bohemia, we'd be close. I'm going to try to improve relations again and see what happens. If we had access to royal marriages, we'd be allied to them now. Because at the start of the game, they would have royal marri married us. Alright, let's get all these uh, made in. Need to do something about this. If oh, I wish we could royal marry, uh, offer them military access. That won't. Asking for military access wouldn't do anything. Can't send them a gift. I'm not rich enough. Hmm. If we we're a great power, we could influence them, but we. Yeah. A bit off that in a minute. Um, I think we're going to get some claims on Poland. And we could potentially bring Bohemia in with a promise of territory if, if they want it. And the truce will expire with Riga. When? 10 years, well, doesn't really matter though. They're allied with Bremen and Lubeck. I'm hoping we will be able to take them on. Get all these cord. We are starting to make money now, which is good. Okay, um, we'll stop drilling. Wait for this rebellion to Ossel, Reval, Dort, Nawa. Wonder where they'll spawn. Hmm. 
Bohemia. Yeah, we've got a really good relationship with them now. Let's have a look. What about Mr. Ottomans? You plus 15. We're friendly. I mean, I could change that, but I, I don't want to. We're 97 away. I think it's worth a try anyway. Can't wait to get 40% of crown land. There we are. 10 stack. Let's go get them. Well, they're not going to put any separatism because of the uh, the fort in Rabaul. Oof. These are a bit tough on the old manpower. Uh, we can wait. They're not going to siege that down anytime soon, I don't think. See whether they get any disease outbreaks, which would be lovely. Min max it a little bit. Not really my playstyle min maxing, but we can we can try min max it a little bit. No, as soon, I think as soon as they're on zero, we'll. Oh, oh, general's gone. Give the air because he's terrible. Ooh. Oh, what a terrible general. 103. Boom. He knows how to move the army, he just doesn't know how to fight with it. And I think we'll come down to here and we'll turn them off. Get some money going. See whether we can expand our monetary capabilities. So, noble ally, nobles ally with foreign power. I think we've got to take the prestige hit here. I don't really want a uh, diplo insult because we're gonna be getting these claims on this little region. them all cord so we can focus on getting the tech now we've already got four percent penalty i'm hoping this will spread quite quickly especially if there's you know these small nations have friends all around them in the uh, hre so diplo rep plus one mm. i mean that could be good for potentially Austria or the Ottomans. Oh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna. Oh, come on. Right. Well, Poland doesn't stand a chance if we uh, if we manage to pull this off. Right. We're allied with the Ottomans now. That that will hurt our relationship with Austria. I mean, I'm allied to two of your rivals now, so it should hurt it. Let's have a look. No, just one. That's fine. And we are going to claim... We need this, really. Oh, Bohemia's got a permanent claim there as well. That should lead to a bit of tension between us. So we've now got the Ottomans as an ally, so... Would they join us? If I promised territory, yeah. We can't beat Lithuania, Bohemia, Poland, though. Even with the Ottomans, I don't think. Defensive war, Polish diplomatic reputation. So what if I had better diplo rep than them? I mean, it's interesting. I think the people we want to go after next. Oh, is the Muscovy War happening? Occupied by Tver. Tver and Ryzan. What? <laughs> How are you losing, Novogor? Because they're stupid, that's why. 
Gain 10 devotion or 5. We've got to take the prestige there. Definitely. Yeah. My uh, my monarch is terrible. I can't I can't afford them to take more land. I need to get this sorted. Yeah, they'll be disloyal for a tiny bit. I've only got twenty six. Can I just take your land burgers? I wish. <laughs> So the nobility and then the clergy down, that's fine. Lithuania, oh if one of these, I mean if that was Austria that I, w I would definitely do that. I mean the people we can afford to annoy are the clergy. This gives us ducats. I think, I think we'll just go for a local noble again. Oh, because Hockmeister, awful. Uh, favoritism in Marienburg. There is no such favoritism. Yep. Yep, Mr. Awful. Oh. And you're Mr. Good. There we are. Good one, Brownsvig Loomberg. Cool. He truly is. Terrible. Foreign spy detection. Amazing. <laughs> Absolutely awful. I wish we could just kill him, to be fair. But we can't. <laughs> we are making some money now. Ooh, we still haven't unlocked. We haven't got the tech. We are so far behind in tech. I don't think we can afford to do any conquering, unless it's core. Potentially, we could release a subject. Do any of these have points three? I don't like that, but next one we'll do is that one. The fall of Constantinople. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, Ottomans, what are you doing? We, need, we do need that crown land, though. Could just really annoy the burghers for ages. It's above 30 is the base. So if 30 is the base, nope, Lithuania, you aren't great, apparently. Steel, but you can go off. We need to get to world power status ASAP, really. That their opinion needs to be 125 to get this. So I don't know. Hmm. I'm not sure. Yeah, they won't like us going into into the area. I think we'll wait for Riga. Try and get our tech going. We 7% minus it's a plus 2% 615. Um, I mean, we've got to take this. We've got to stay on top of it. We could we could cancel that now at 1470. 13 more years. What are we going to take here? Oh, it's Gallic Lach. Gallo, Gallo, Glach. I don't know how you say that. <laughs> we could build a castle. I was thinking that was going to be dip tech then, but no. we need the admin tech up. Uh, the next. So the next leader should hopefully offset our lack. Our lack of diplo and admin to start with. Ooh, all this uh, culture off 
We're not gonna be. Hey. Yeah, we'll take the tax. And government reform. Let's have a look. External mission manpower recovery speed. Well, we don't want Cessler chance. Manpower recovery speed or tolerance. I think we've got to go for manpower recovery speed. That's what we need right now. Will we need it in the future? I don't know, but tolerance of the true faith. Don't think we really need that either. Oh. Prestige. Make this is the same. That's to 68 and that's to 63. Okay, so it isn't exactly the same, but it's the same effects for the just a shorter period of time. Um, is that all the claims we can get? Yeah. Um, oh, we can claim here as well. We might as well just keep on doing it with that. Skov, Muscovy, when are you going to fight Novograd? Or are you struggling? I mean, you don't look very strong right now, to be fair. Um, Brandenburg. Brandenburg, are you going to ask for Jim? Ask for uh, the uh, new mark at some point or not? I mean, we don't need these on a pier either anymore. I mean, we've got probably no. Yeah, we've got 13.8 army tradition. It doesn't matter if we just turn them off. We're going to lose it, but that'll be fine. Have a look. There will be blood. Um, we're just kind of sitting waiting here now at the minute. could do with getting that Diplo Rep Advisor. We've got a lot of money now. We're making a bit of money, so... Yearly inflation reduction. Nope, we don't need it. So, National Unrest, probably better. I mean, these are have minus 96, but they will have unrest again. We don't want that right now. We might want it later, though. Uh really need to get this done could just take the hit we are doing all right on everything but it'll only seize five percent so we'll be at 31 we really just need to conquer some more land how long does this last till yeah prussian confederation will not rise up against us it doesn't Okay, so 20 years. I don't know when we get the option. We could just completely tank everything. Not sure that's the right decision to do, though. But this Prussian Confederation thing is kind of annoying. Right, let's get a claim on Berlin, our rightful capital. How's Austria thinking of us? We can get another 25, so we'll be back to about 100. We need it to be 125. See, we'll just take you back for one second. How much would I have to gift them? Yeah, a lot. It'd have to be about 300. So 250, we could get it up by 25. So the question is, would I press a button that gives me permanent claims on all of that for 250 gold? I think I would, to be fair. Well, let's... 
Oh, Poland just annexed this. We'll get another claim on Brandenburg, and then we will we'll get another claim on Brandenburg, and then we'll go like. Then we'll try for Austria. And if we can get all those claims, that would be brilliant. The Great Cipher of Awful the First. Yearly Corruption. Would be quite helpful. Offset the Embezzler. We could turn this to zero. It's not really doing anything right now, but. Prestige. I think the prestige for the aggressive expansion impact. Uh, right, what do I need? I need 40 probably, yeah. Kill. See, this happens as the Prussian Confederation revolts and now we can't go down this path of the tree because it has enacted the national decision to curtail the Prussian Confederation, which we've not managed to do. So now we can't get this permanent claim on Gotland. We can't, well, we've got a claim on Riga, so it doesn't really matter. That's pretty powerful, though, inclusive, increasing the center of trade in Riga and Gotland by one. So we can't do that now, but uh, it's fine. We will obviously declare war on them. Army maintenance full. I'm going to wait for the end of this. Thank you.